focus on the brand rather than going all in on conversions. I know that's really tough because in a time when your company needs money, they're looking to you to get conversions and generate sales. A quick side note, these are also really great places to collect data because if you have an owned community in your email, you can send surveys out once every other week or once a month. All right, it's 2023 and all of your advertising costs have gone way up. So we got inflation, which is causing people to tighten their wallets a bit more. And it's taking longer for them to make purchases because they've got a lot of other things that they need to spend their tight budgets on. And so this makes advertising more expensive. You've got to advertise to somebody longer. The customer journey is longer because they need to think about their finances more and you need to spend more on advertising because you need to advertise to them longer. And in conjunction, Statistia saw that advertising costs, uh, average CPC costs, costs in 2021 were 52 cents, where is in the number here, right? In 2022, that same quarter Q1, it went up 10 cents. It's at 62 cents. And for all kind of forward viewing purposes, it looks like it's going to continue to go up. The average CPC is going to continue to go up in 2023. So the cost per click, average cost per click is also higher. Now, because brands are also tightening their belts and their budgets, those average Advertising costs may go down because the demand is going down, the supply is up, right? So those advertising costs may come down towards the end of 2023, but it might also take until 2024 for that to actually occur. So how do you deal with that as a chief marketing officer or marketing leader? Like, what do you do? What do you do with this higher advertising costs when you've spent the past three years getting unfair amounts of traffic and, and sales from Facebook and Instagram ads. And, and now we're seeing TikTok ads, right? What do you do? Well, here's a few tips to make sure that you're still getting the brand awareness, you're still getting the conversions, uh, and you're still getting the at least maintenance, hopefully growth that you your job really relies on. The first thing is to make sure you continuously rely on brand. Focus on the brand rather than going all in on conversions. I know that's really tough because in a time when your company needs money, they're looking to you to get conversions and generate sales. But there's nothing you can do when a consumer's just not going to spend money on something right away. You can't force them to do that. You can try all the urgency tactics and the scarcity tactics, but you can't force them to spend money. But what you can do is force them to fall in love with your brand because they don't have to spend any money on that. They just have to spend a little bit of time consuming your content. So over deliver on the brand value. Give them content that makes them happy in these dark times and excites them and gets them motivated. Create a community where they feel special and empowered and supported and focus on your brand mission and your brand message because that will make your conversion tactics much, much easier. All right, the second thing is to focus on content, making sure that you're focusing on your content. You can create content for relatively cheap these days. All you need is really a cell phone and a couple of editing tools and boom, you can create content. And luckily enough, TikTok, platforms like TikTok, and now Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts are making it much more commonplace to have sort of your basic video content. You don't need high production, high end stuff. It definitely can help if you can afford that, but you don't need it. And so lean into that, create content, UGC content, partner with customers of yours to create UGC content. Hire a UGC agency if you have the budget to keep a content system coming in quickly. And make sure this content is, again, value-driven. It's not just, hey, buy my product. It's, hey, here's how this product fits with your everyday life. Here's why this product is amazing. Here's what you can use this product for. Here's valuable tips on things that have to do with this product space. Put out content that's helpful and valuable and motivating and exciting because, again, it will lead to brand affinity and brand love, and that will lead to purchases when people are ready. All right. The third thing you can do is prioritize your list building. Now, building your email list has been one of the oldest strategies for not only an e-commerce company, but any sort of internet company for the past couple of decades. Build your email list and you've got a powerful community of people that are dying to interact with you, engage with you and buy your product. But it's beyond email now, text messaging, different sort of segments like Discord are coming out, uh, platforms that, that have private communities. Making sure that you're building these groups in email, in SMS, in platforms like Discord, build a community and build your list and reinforce value, nurture them, engage with them, because those places are going to be your hotbed of 
potential customer activity and word of mouth and community. And all of that goes into conversions. Because if you're the one hosting this community, whether it's your email, whether it's your SMS list, uh, whether it's a Discord, whether it's a Facebook group, build your list, build your community, because this is a place where you can win customers before their customers. You can re-win, uh, win back customers that made a purchase from you a while ago and uh, love the content that you're sending out in your email newsletter. And you can have a strong CTA where maybe they make a repeat purchase. Okay. Uh, these are also great places. A quick side note. These are also really great places to collect data because if you have an owned community in your email, you can send surveys out once every other week or once a month and you can consistently collect data. You can offer them 5% off uh, their next, per next purchase for filling out a survey. You can offer them a free add-on product for filling out a survey. You can send out emails where it's just one question. It doesn't have to be a full survey. And you can consistently use this data to inform ways to connect with people uh, and, and ultimately nurture them to become a customer from their own insight. You know, they're the ones giving you the information as to how do you do this. So use these communities to collect data, which you can then use to be a smarter marketer. And finally, the fourth tip that I'll give you today is to focus on your brand awareness. How many different places can you get mentioned can you get tagged? Can you get a link from? How many different comments can you put your brand underneath? We call this community management. So it can bleed in with PR, right? PR slash community management. But you want to try to increase your volume of mentions across the entire internet. Because what this will do is it will start to build social proof. This isn't anything new. This is what Coca-Cola and Budweiser and all the biggest brands in the world do. They try to plaster their logo and their brand and their mission and their message and, and their communication is in many different places as possible because they've got these massive budgets. Everybody knows their brand and now it's just making sure that they stay top of mind of their customers when compared to their competitors, right? So Budweiser and Coors Light, they're competing. Dell computers and Apple computers, they're competing. These different brands are all sort of competing. So you as a small business or a small brand work to make sure that people are searching for you on Google more. How do you do this? More social media content, more ambassadors, more influencers, better reviews, more reviews, more places that you're putting out content and telling stories because then people are going to be like, hmm, who is this company? And they're going to go over to Google and they're going to search for the company name, a branded search. Increasing that branded search volume every month is a good surefire way to know that more people are seeing you and becoming curious about who you are. Similarly, over on social media, the more people tagging you, mentioning you, that means there's more value that you're putting out into the world because somebody took the time to tag you or post about you. How do you do this? Influencers, affiliates, UGC content, community management, meaning reaching directly out to people, commenting on posts of people that are talking about the space that you're in, more conversations, more touch points, sending out products to influential people, influential groups, so that then they feel the need to tag you. These are really good strategies to build your brand and put yourself in more places Yes, it's a much more scattershot approach, but in these times, this is what you have to go with because the alternative is to put all your dollars in the paid media basket and just watch those costs go up. Now, disclaimer, you should be executing paid media at the same time, but by shifting some of your focus to much more of these organic brand tactics, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make your paid media much more effective and efficient. Because if you're spending money on paid media to collect cold customers, it's gonna take you longer, thus be more expensive. But if you're focusing on this brand building and people are being introduced into your funnel from the brand perspective and the community perspective, now your paid media can be much more effective because you might be running ads to some of these top of funnel community members who have already heard of your brand. You might also use paid media for much more of a retargeting tool. So people have already entered the funnel and they're in the consideration phase. So now you're using paid media for retargeting, which again is much more efficient. Okay. So don't stop doing your paid media. Just make sure you're amplifying your organic content, your brand building stories to make the whole system much more efficient. Hopefully you found this video valuable. If you did like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.